Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com with three excellent scary Halloween voice effects you can apply to your voiceover. But remember, you don't just have to apply them for Halloween. They're good for radio imaging all year round. Starting with effect one, which is a beginner's effect, and number three will be slightly more advanced. Number one is a simple pitch shift. Go into the effects menu, time and pitch, and select stretch and pitch process to bring up this box. Now, if I play my voiceover, you'll notice it's not too scary. I'm a scary monster. But we can do something with that by simply dragging the slider on pitch shift down a couple of semitones. There we go, minus two. I'm a scary monster. Want to get even scarier? Drag it down maybe minus four semitones. I'm a scary monster. You can go even lower if you like, but then it starts to sound a little bit ridiculous. I'm a scary monster. Effect number two is reverse reverb. Now, I like to apply this on certain liners all year round when I'm producing, but it works great for Halloween as well. Here's something I recorded earlier. Not too scary. I am a ghost. <laughs> In order to apply reverse reverb, you simply go into the effects menu of Adobe Audition, select reverse to reverse your wave. Have a listen now. Oh, side number. Yeah. Sounds a little bit like Father Christmas and his elves, doesn't it? Anyway, go to the end of the waveform there and simply go to the edit menu and then insert silence. And you'll probably want to insert about five seconds of silence at the end of your reversed wave. Once you've done that, double click to select the whole wave and go into the effects menu, then select reverb, full reverb, which will bring up this box. And I quite like to go for the large auditorium preset as that gives you plenty of decay on your reverb. Apply it. There you go. You can see the reverb has been applied to that voice. And then simply go back into effects and reverse to get your reverse reverb effect, which is nice and scary, but also works well on any liners you want to highlight in your radio imaging. Have a listen to this. I am a ghost. <laughs> And finally, I'm going to use this recording to demonstrate the third effect, which is a pitch shift echo. Now I'll go to the multi-track to demonstrate this, simply drag in that ghost recording you've got, and then as an effect to track one, which is the track that you've just placed the wave, you go into delay and echo, select echo, and then I'm going to add my custom echo preset here. Once that's done, you should be able to hear some echo on that ghostly recording. I am a ghost. <laughs> now go straight ahead and mix it down. And then you simply want to select the end of the wave where the echo goes on. And go into effects, time and pitch, stretch and pitch. And for this one, I suggest you use a preset like cutting power and click OK. And then just to show you the effect in full effect, I'm going to actually add a little bit of compression to the voiceover as well. And then you can listen to the final product with reverse reverb and pitch shifted echo at the end. I am a ghost. <laughs> just some of the fun you can have with Adobe Audition CS6 this Halloween. For more audio production tips, tricks and secrets, simply head over and sign up for our newsletter at musicradiocreative.com.